Multitasking Mad Science Hour, here we go. This box contains my Valve Index. And this bag contains a rib roast that has been seasoned. So uh, two things are gonna happen right now. I'm going to discuss the modifications I'm making to my possibly DOA index, so I've never even hooked it up. And I'm going to sous vide a, roast, a rib roast because uh, you never know on Mad Science Hour what the fuck's happening. I'm also gonna be a mad hungry scientist, I guess is the words I'm trying to say. I just splashed water on the pants. Hope this battery lasts. I also have like only seven other batteries that I could use. So, uh, not the hottest water for that. You can just drop it in there, it really doesn't make a difference. When I vacuum sealed that, I seasoned it, which is smart. Crap. I don't have my actual thing in here. I need to get this like 130. What are we at? 91, 107, 114, 118. Yes, this is all required to set up a valve index properly. I know you're asking that question. Um, uh, this I've been using this pot so often for sous vide that it now has a mark, like a ring around it. I'm gonna do this, and this, and this, and this. I don't put anything in that because it's my non-stick. And I like it to stay non-stick. Don't put shit on it. But I have to do this. See? It's fine. Everything I'm doing here is fine. And now if you really want to be a badass, you could actually set the thermostat on the stove to do that. Um, we'll go bother Pasta for a second. She doesn't want to be in this video. So it's gonna suck for her. And now we're gonna look down at the floor real quick while I come in here and I get the sous vide out of my cabinet. Cause that's what I forgot. Boom. I'm not bad. I'm the best. Hi! Duh. This is the one that's remote, that's like super smart control. And uh, I'm not gonna use that because why the hell would I? So let's just get this going and then we'll get onto the uh, valve index. And this 27 part series of how to index. Should this just be the intro? Okay, what do we got? It's a rib roast. I want it to be. Let's see. Turn on, but I want to set the temperature like 127. One twenty six five for three hours. And it's already running, so we're good. No, turn on. Go. And if that floats up, I'll put something on it. Now, let's talk about the valve index. So I bought it about a month ago. And because of RMAF coming up, I've ignored it. Because guess what you can't do? Play video games and make a video a day for YouTube. Unless you're making a video a day for YouTube about playing video games, that would make it much easier. So knowing that I want to set it up in this room, let's, re let's go over this again. Because in the unboxing, I talked about it, but this is a mad science hour. I just made a, I'm making a fucking big piece of beef. This is the room where I want to do it, obviously. This couch, if I wasn't going to crush Nito, actually Nito should fit under the couch. No, he won't. Well, you get the idea. This is a bigger room than my office, and my office isn't exactly set up for like swinging my arms around. I feel like swinging my arms around in this particular room is bad. This is where the sim racing cockpit is, and that is my computer with the GTX 1080 in it. There. Over there in that corner where it doesn't bother anybody. Link to this in the description. Where it doesn't bother anybody, she's just sitting over there. Now, being a renter, being very respectful for the owners of the building, I have drilled several holes in the walls, including one down there, which lots of cables are passing through. Now, I want to set up the index in here. With there's a ton of free space and all the furniture's on sliders or wheels and everything can move and I took pasta away from her joy of going through my coin bin which was 16.7 pounds 
It's Area 51 Chan. She's gonna get raided. If you know what I mean. So there's a perfect room for this. Lighthouse there, and lighthouse there. Now, just consulting with the internet, slash my friend uh, Gambit, VR Gambit, throwing aces, I don't know what he's going by. He says the lighthouses, for at least the vibe, need to see each other, and then see you. So, can't go all the way up in the top, because then I have projection screen, and track lights, and there's things. So it's got to come down. This track light I don't think will affect the angle. That one might, but I'm gonna have to put a little bit lower there and a little bit lower here, just to guarantee we have line of sight between the two. Which, mm, I was also considering I could put one here and there. My only problem is plug situations because I do have to both be plugged into power. So here I have no room for power here because that's my Verizon modem and the extension cord for this entire tower. I have another uh, power plug back here, but then it's like across the doorway and it's eh. Whereas there, power goes down. Behind this is a plug right there. I could hide an extension cord, no one notices. And over here is gonna be the neatest of them all. Of course, I already have this wire track, which I could just pop open. And I've only got two wires in currently, so I'll just make a little notch, run the wire in, run it down, there's your plug. I mean, there's a, currently a microwave plugged in and my thing, but a power strip there and then I could just, boom. That's the, the easiest possible thing. Uh, so, and that'll give me a, this much area to punch people in VR and shoot bows and then, you know, like... Okay. So, modifications. Uh, the valve does come with mounts, wall mounts. They're in here somewhere. Let me pull out. Let me unassemble this box. I just recycled a face shield. It's fine. It comes with these mounts for the lighthouses. I haven't taken the plastic off the lighthouses yet. And they're not terrible mounts by any means. But they also don't look like um, they should like be nice. Like, they're, how am I going to mount this on the wall? You can pop these out, and then you got holes, and you drill them in. They're big black panels, and they hold it like that. And what I did is I went online, and I'll link to these in the description. Is buy these? I think they're designed for like security cameras. Which this has this actually has nice rubber on the against it and everything. And this doesn't, but I don't care. I'm going to put one screw. Boom. Pivot this up. These. Thank you, it's at temperature. Pivot this up, you tighten this down, you screw this in, so now I can go like this. How is this actually? Will this actually rotate in with this wing here? We have to undo the wing. You get it close, and then you use this to tighten against, and then you use this to tighten that down. I've installed many a security system um, I also had to learn everything about VR. I've not done anything with VR other than the Google Cardboard and my phone. And that was enough to sell me on VR, and then I actually used a real... I don't remember if it was a Rift or a Vive. I like how the index is two syllables, by the way. It makes it feel more powerful. So there's Rift and the Vive. And then, so this has a USB, which is apparently only for unbricking it and updating it. And then there's your power plug, which we'll have in here. One of these is the power plug, I think you are. I think it comes with three identical power bricks. Yeah, these are all fucking, these are crazy. Are you the ones? It's gotta be you guys, cause you guys are separate and have to be plugged in where you are already made. I think you're the one for the unit. Here's the other lighthouse. So you can compare and contrast. Now, there's nothing stopping you also from getting some white tape, which I do have a couple pieces of like, it's white fabric tape, and just taping around, the, you can't tape the fascia, but if you just want this to sort of blend into the wall a little bit easier than that, and this would have to be pointed there and down, but I'm gonna put it up there, which means getting my new stepladder, which was opened in a previous unboxing. Now this wall is, well, if those of you who've never watched me review speakers and subwoofers wanna do this, as concrete on brick. So I'm gonna be climbing up there and drilling a singular hole. Uh, might remove that bracket, I'm not sure. 
remove the other brackets so it doesn't really matter and just just give it enough visual of this space here and seeing the other one seeing the other one is the real key here seeing the floor i can put them all the way up in the corners and i can see it just fine bring them down another foot we'll let them see each other and when i reach my arms up which i'm going to probably do a bunch because i have a fetish of 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 grabbing the asses of giants and i'm sure that's a simulator out there right can i get one of those please where i grab the asses of giant amazonian women um so i want to be able to make sure both lighthouses can see my hands going up which is weird how it all communicates i love this I, this is all new all new to me i could also if i wanted to not do it like this i could screw this into the back which would bring them out a little bit more let's see but i don't think that's necessarily necessary necessarily either way down with the big square black ones and on with the highly rated white ones they're an interesting little design actually that might be that might be better i don't know what do you think then you really won't see it we could hang it from the ceiling too if we really wanted to if we wanted to get like They're just more more versatile than these these guys. These don't even bend 90 degrees. I don't get it. They make you do this, and they don't give you ones that bend. This is not a new technology. Every security camera since the dawn of time has had like this sort of shit. Do, Val, do. Okay, so that's the first modification. I'm gonna pick whether I wanna shoot back or bottom with this. And I actually could probably, actually I gotta ask my friend if I can put them upside down. Cause then you could hang them like this and really hide everything that's going on. Which you might be able to do. But now this was the second modification. You see, if you're just some gamer, sitting in your college dorm, you don't give a fuck. Who cares? I live here. I rent here. I try to keep it looking nice as much as I decorate with anime girls and guns and anime things and anime girls and anime little glass tables nice. And gin. And this hat. Link to this hat in the description. Um, so, I want it to not be black wires, so I bought heat shrink. Now, this won't need a lot of it. I'm just gonna have to heat shrink like the very end, and then maybe the wire going over there, but I'm gonna put a new piece of furniture there. It'll probably hide everything. But the one in that corner is gonna have to be full heat shrink all the way to the bottom. And I believe these are the wires for those, which is why they have the right angle plug. Yeah, okay. Well, the only ones that match. Let's see how long this is because these are pretty damn long. And I haven't taken, as you can see, I haven't, I haven't even plugged this in. We're going to pull up the setup guide. Uh, at some point, I'm going to pause this video because Mad Science Hours, if I started it and finished my Mad Science Hour, it'd be seven and a half hours long. And as much as you people enjoy my company, thanks guys. Um, no. I'm going to kill somebody. I tricked this fucking thing off this is the worst I've ever this is this is super like I can't even rip the cardboard damn you valve Gaben Lord Gaben paid extra for this shit so let's take one of these out and let's just give it a flang oh god Actually, not very much in the way of like jankiness. I highly approve. If only everybody would wrap wires so neatly. So, I know which side I have to go on. It's going to be the side that's at the box as far down as I can go. These are nine foot ceilings. Uh, I'm probably going to have 10 feet visible. That's a 25 foot spool. I'll measure it out. The other bits I could just keep coiled and plug in because right behind the box box, the baka, you know, the Chewbacca. Hey, Buck Buck. Did you put in this box? No, you didn't. You're good. She lives in there. Behind her is where the power outlet is, which I might even need to put an extension cord at this sort of length. But that's my next step. Take my heat gun. Well, take a scissor. Measure this out. Heat gun. And then I could do the exact opposite side where I need to go near the lighthouse with the heat shrink to pretty it up. I will need to go, oh fuck, please tell me this will fit over the wire. This might be a disaster. Oh, these are so big. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Oh, my life is fucking ruined. 
my life is ruined. All this talk about heat shrink and being the right size and being convenient. It's not called Mad Science Hour because I'm a mad scientist. It's called Mad Science Hour because I'm a mad scientist. Hmm. Now, I also am a skilled solderer. Well, mostly. So I could just cut this, then slide shit on, and then solder it and then slide on heat shrink. Cock sucking motherfucking fuck nut. I am Zen now. So, since I can't put the heat shrink on this, I'm gonna link to the heat shrink regardless. Um, I may link to larger heat shrink, because I mean, it depends. I wanted it nice and tight against the wire, and this will still be loose against the wire. What I'll probably end up doing, because I'm a mad fucking bastard, is I'm gonna get these mounted, and then I'm going to get the wires in place. This one doesn't need to be heat shrink except for the end. That one needs to be heat shrink the entire length. When I know exactly how much heat shrink I need after it's been mounted, after it's been tested, after everything works, I will undo the work, cut these, slide the heat shrink on, and re-solder them together. It's just power. It's two conductor. This couldn't be... You could literally take the ends of these, cut them both off here, and make it that long if you wanted to, or infinitely longer. This actually is nice quality wire. i got to give it to Valve on uh, putting this stuff. Thank God it's not... A just jig jags janky mess and um, again like I said my first problem problem uno numero uno problemo um, number one uno problem is that's the computer so I'm gonna have to plug it into this computer hmm also did it say it needs USB-C I don't have USB-C in my computer like how the fuck am I supposed to do that I've got DisplayPort. I got several DisplayPorts closed up, actually. There's one. I have two full-size DisplayPorts and USB 3, but no USB-C. I have a USB-C card. Jesus, do I have to install the USB-C card? Ah! USB 3.0. Okay, it just wants 3.0. Just so, all right. So here's the here's the instructions. Since welcome to Zero Views. Install SteamVR. I've done that already. I checked. My computer is capable. Blah, 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 blah. I do have new video drivers that have to go in. I was waiting to complete all my emails before I did that. Prepare my play area. If we're doing this as a first test, it's probably going to be this hellhole. All right. Attach my base stations to the base. That's bullshit. Nowhere on this does it say anything about the two lighthouses being able to see each other. Like, this one's got one on the table and one over here, so... I think that might have been a limitation of the Vive and not of the index. So we'll see. Um, I could run testing, I suppose, where I put like a panel in front of it so it could just see me, but no, I don't know. And then connect your headset, which needs a display port and a USB 3.0, and you plug it into the breakaway cable, and then you turn on the controllers with a button, and then you enjoy VR. So let's fucking do it, all right? Let's get this shit at least tested. Give me a Welch's fruit snack. I hate these grape ones. Grape used to be the best flavor. No, grape is a sad flavor. Mmm. I won't even need the bases at all. I can mount these in preparation. In solidarity, I can mount these. Like the actual mounts to the wall. But for now, Let's make these things go. Here's our breakaway cable. Full size USB, full size display port, and there's our power. Let's go make that happen. I like making things happen. There's a giant Samuel Adams truck. I wish I liked beer, but I don't really. Um, you know what sucks? I literally have every single USB port on my computer. Um, being, being, if you want that wallpaper, that is on the Taotronics Sound Surge 46 video. Uh, of course, you're all going to ask for it, and I'm not going to give it to you. God, this is nice wiring. It's perfect length, too, because I'm not going to reach the fuck over there every time. So let's see. Let's unplug this. I'll leave the little pluggy plug here. As you can see, it's really convenient having my computer tucked away. Super convenient. 
Uh, there's my network cord, which has to be plugged in every time. This is a random HDMI cable. It's not part of anything I'm doing. We've got power, which is here, which can go. That's a janky cable. That's a janky fucking cable. That's the janky cable. Uh, I actually have an extension cord right here I could use. Um, you have to excuse the Sundara, the Vintage, Koss. That's a set of Turtle Beaches that is actually really good. We need the sound demo. And this is the Marantz HD DAC 1, which is like their first and only high definition DAC. Plug that in. All right, now we have, I need a super speed. What is that one on the bottom? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Welcome to Z Reviews. Oh, you're going to literally nothing. Well, this is uh, actually the breakout for a couple things. Are you blue or are you red? You're red. I don't think you need to be blue. I don't think my motherboard's color-coded like that. So I'm just going to shove you right in here. This is how most people set up their shit. Jank ass fuck. Now, I don't know how this is going to work with me running... It's not dual monitors. Even though these two screens are showing the exact same thing, my computer has one display port out or HDMI out. I think it's, no, I think it's also display port out going into an HDMI into this Emotiva, which is then has two outputs so that I can get past HDCP because that's too far away and it freaks it out. So we're gonna be Swinging arms around this. <laughs> it's going to be bad news bears in here for at least just to get it tested. But getting tested is real important. Let's move out here now. Okay, that's plugged in. Let's get the base stations. I got to do that other thing with the fucking wire and fucking me. More precision haircutting ones. One. Please don't cut the wire. Please don't cut the wire. That's all I ask. I mean, this is brilliant if you want to know if someone's put wrapped their stuff back up, because you could never disassemble this cardboard and put this wire back in as neatly as the robots did in Indochina or Taiwan or wherever this is made. I kind of hope it's not China. No offense, China, but I kind of hope you didn't make my uh, valve index. Oh, yeah. I unwrap many wires and these are actually, look how nice, look, as soon as you get that little twist out of it, they are, they are like straight. I, God, I'm so glad I spent the money. I didn't buy a, let me talk to you about my history in VR. I'm obsessed with VR. Didn't want to buy a valve, didn't want to buy an index. Actually, no, I definitely, um, I didn't want to buy a valve, didn't want to buy an index. Mad, I said for Science Hour. I didn't want to buy an Oculus Rift because Facebook owned them and I'm a big fuck you Facebook sort of guy. And I didn't, I was sort of interested in the Vive because oh Valve and Vive but it wasn't made by Valve and everyone was like oh the Vive's got issues and nothing felt like it was next gen enough. And what really sold me on the index and this time period of my life because it's, I was looking at that one that has a double screens that has like the crazy wide angle. I forget what it's called, the Star VR, I think. I think Star VR was like the thing and I was like, I'm gonna back this one. Totem was another one that I actually like, I, I was in charge of the fucking subreddit for Totem VR. Cause it was another one. I didn't even own it. It was like, it's gonna come out, it's gonna compete. And it never did. And when the index, it wasn't even when the index showed up, it was the controllers. There was that bone bone gear, bone demo, whatever the fuck, where they were just picking things up with the hand track and the controllers. That was it, that was the moment. That was when I knew that I was gonna be spending $1,000 on a goddamn VR headset. And this is money I've been saving for fucking years. So what do we got? I'm gonna have to put a lighthouse over here. So that's gonna get plugged in there. And I'm gonna have to put a lighthouse. I guess I can move one of the, oh, up there. Oh, up there. Just, just just, to sort of get like a visual confirmation. And this can go, what's plugged in over here? That fan and that air conditioner. I love how that fan and that air conditioner are plugged in. Uh, <laughs> I just wanna cry a little bit. Do I have any extra cords? I mean, this thing is long as fuck, so I can actually plug this in under my desk. We're gonna, we're gonna give that a little, little toss. Come with me. 
to the floor when the greatest things happen. How did I throw that through there? So here's an here's a power plug right there. Perfect. And let's crawl on this side of the floor. And this is where I would either plug in the turntable, which is a borrowed turntable. And Mauricio, if you're still watching, um, you can have it. I will buy a turntable. I don't want to deprive you of it. He, he's got it to me with turn with a extra things and everything else. I'm like, oh shit, I feel bad now. Okay, so what were these steps? I don't want to do this out of order. Install Steam VR. Prepare your play area, attach your base stations and stands. Plug in and place your base stations. Connect your headset. So we can plug these in. I think they just shoot light, like randomly, in that direction. I have actually no idea how the technology works. I'd love to see a real techie breakdown. Who's the uh, Australian guy that uh, ripped shit apart? I love him. Him, that guy. I don't need any stands at all because they're just gonna sit in my goddamn shit room. You think I'm joking? That's probably exactly where that's going. Uh, oh, there's some blue light. Oh, it vibrated. Why are you vibrating? Why the fuck is this vi Why would you put a vib- Why on earth would you put a- It's got a motor. It's fucking vibrating. Oh, Jesus, stop. Don't lose these. I have a feeling I'm gonna be putting them back on. That- That's horrifying. I do not like to feel the vibration in things that do not need to vibrate. It's a goddamn- No. I feel like that fucking robot from Wally. Who was he? The Copot? No. What if this one doesn't vibrate? Nope, she's vibrating. Oh, she's got mirrors in it. It's spinning mirrors. It's a tracking thing. If I drop that, it's gonna break forever. That makes sense. It's using LiDAR. It's, these are, these have to have a lifespan. That's not eternity. Okay, and here's extension cords to do those, and here's safety wires for these, which you don't need, because we're fucking dudes, right? I don't need that. And I still don't understand what this is. Like, I know what this is. This goes in the headset, and it's, it's beautiful and replaceable and a little bit narrow for my face. And I guess this fills it? In case you're done, you don't want to. You need to transport your vi your index. I'm about to call it a, a vive or a valve. I'm bad. So okay, come with me, headset. Leave you. Take this. You come. You come me now. We go test. Don't trip on the wire. Don't trip on the wire. Don't trip. I've done much tripping in my life. Don't want to trip on that wire though. I'm um, amazed that they got it to be comfortable over my nose because every revision of any VR has always smashed me and this is nice. So, here's this. Um, I do have, in case you haven't been informed, that goes right there. In case you haven't been informed, you do have to have an umbilical cord to your head, obviously. So, if you were looking at my refrigerator going, what the fuck are all those silver things? These are neodymium ring hooks. And the idea, when it happens, is the computer will either be on this side of the table, because that computer can move here. Like, there's nothing stopping me from putting it here. I put it there to keep it out of the way, but th there's so much shit here anyway, it would give me a reason to clean up, and then I could use the hole in the wall. Because if, the if there was no wall here, it would still be sitting on a table, like right there. So the hole in the wall is two feet down. So I'd lose two and a half feet of cable, then come up to this, mount wire to that, and then, actually there's one stuck up there, you can see it, I chucked it, and it just stuck to the side, sideways. So this is a metal, there's supposed to be a cover on this, that's steel, that throws the heat everywhere, but I took it off, because when I had the couch back there, it would just throw heat in my face, and I'd rather have it just heat straight into the floor, and everything goes good, but I'm going to put a, Kind of like the uh, one of these. Actually, 
uh, kind of like exactly one of these. I'm probably going to go to Lowe's and find one. And then I could take my magnets with the wire attached, and it's going to hang over here when we're not using it, put the index in a box or something, pull it off, and then lift it up and go, and that magnet will hold everything, and then I could just move my index around without the wire coming down. And then when I'm done, this stick will be sort of hanging there a little bit shorter. We'll just yank it off and go, click, hang off headset. Now I gotta pull all this shit back because I was just using it as a descriptor and I can't adjust my fucking blinds now. Ah, there we go. See, Zeos has ideas. And now there's two of them stuck up there, but don't worry because it came with like a pack of 16 or 10 or two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And yeah, these things are like, the stronger, the heavier the metal, That is a strong magnet. That's aluminum. But uh, all corner beads, by the way, are magnetic. You can see the magnets here. When they do corners of, of buildings, I have magnetic studs in my walls, actually. These aren't wood, but every corner where they do this is a folded piece of metal, which is why the magnet trick works. Hold my fridge open, because that's a magnet there, and it just goes magnet to the wall. Magnets, how do they work? Uh, well. They work well. But for now, for today, I'm probably gonna just chuck the wire on the top of that fan and hope that no one flips the switch on purpose because that'll be hilarious. Um, I was using that to keep dust out of the lenses. This is an ex... I, I can't knock them for the cable. I know what's in this cable. There's gotta be how many conductor? Oof. Like oof amounts of conductivity. That's. 16 on one side is that 32 conductor i don't know i don't know it's, it's running a display port power and usb it's that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot oh that's a lot that's a lot oh and then my fan goes in front of that light which gives it that really awesome effect of like ugh. Make me want to vomit. I should probably keep that off there for now. I'll deal with that later. In the interim, let's just see what happened when this plug in and make go. Everything's plugged in, everything's powered. This is lit up. Hi. Hi, how does this feel? Oh, Jesus, God, nothing's happening on this screen. All right, let's launch Steam VR and see what happens. Oh, I can't wait to just disassemble the, the power. Uh, this is Princess Pasta's cooking video. If you don't know, Princess Pasta has uh, some cooking videos up. Oh, using Steam VR headset? Make full use of headset with Steam each time you'd like to launch Steam VR. Install V. I thought I did this already. Install Steam VR. I don't know how long that's going to take. Vicious Circle is now playing on Steam. Anyway, so we, we now have the most basic and rudimentary and bullshit system in history hooked up to at least. Are these still spinning? Do they spin endlessly forever and forever? Because that would be the most nightmarish scenario. I guess the headset tells them to turn on and off, please. Because I understand and I, I feel bad. I watched The Brave Little Toaster a million times as a kid and it's like, oh, my toaster feels bad if I jam a fork into it. Let's not do that. That's why I have a kinship with like just equipment that doesn't have a soul, but I think it has a soul, so I, I'm nice to it. Anywho. Um, remember that first thing here in step one? I kind of skipped that. And now we're on step six, which is turning my controllers, which I'll wait till Steam VR is installed. Um, we're about halfway done. I could stop this video. Do not trip on that. Oh God, that wire is... Don't. I know me, and that's a don't. I didn't even get to use my heat gun, and it's all plugged in. 
I love how I was super prepared when I ordered the heat shrink. And it's the perfect size. It's, it's, it could have gotten even smaller heat shrink now, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, anyway, when this is fully done, if I don't have to build a new computer, because my friend, again, Gambit, VR Gambit, Gambit VR, Throne Aces, whatever his name is, and the thing, if this computer can't run it, this computer is just, I love you, baby. I love you, but you're like going on six, seven years, and it does a great job playing 1080p movies and posting my foobar, and that's all it has to do. I love you, you're perfect. Sit there, you're perfect. If I had to build a new gaming computer, what I really wanted in here, though, for that, and I'd want to encode video on it, because that's the thing, it's like it's a trade-off between, okay, I can game on it, oh, I can encode video on it, then what is, then you need for the same computer, why are you gonna buy fuck two of them? If I put it on this side of the table, once this is all set up and working, I'm gonna check the length of this cable, it's not gonna be long enough. I could extend, the power doesn't matter, I could extend USB, and I might be able to extend DisplayPort with a powered extension. I just need to be able to figure out, actually we could do that while we're calculating. Calculating. I want to be able to have from here, that's four feet of cable. It's going to have to obviously be five or six feet of cable. Six feet is probably the, six feet. I need six feet of VR cabling from that. I mean, if I do it like attached and it's like across, maybe it's a little less than six, but let's just go with rough estimates. So that's six feet. So how far is it? And I'm assuming it's going to go on a diagonal. I'm not going to be that anal where it just drags across. But it's going to go from the top of this, because I don't want to hit the wire either. So from that to here is eight feet. Six plus eight. And then we're going down to that hole, preferably not in a straight line. Six plus eight plus six is 12. That's 20 feet just to get to the hole. Giggity. And then if I were to put it up on this table, so you gotta go through the holes a foot. I should have a straight line, so it's like 20, 21, 22. I need a 24 to 25 foot to get to here. If the computer goes to here, I need 25 feet. I think it's 16 feet with the extension. I will actually, well, fuck it. We're, we're filming, aren't we? Come with me, headset. That's not a bad length. I'm gonna knock that remote control off, aren't I? Okay, here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put you in the litter box. My, my thousand dollar thing in the litter box will be perfect. This is how you measure the cable. I'm, I'm sorry, but this is just the only way I know how to do it. 25 feet's my number. There's four. I'm gonna go from the breakout. From the breakout over is another 11. It's 15 feet. It's roughly 15 feet to here, and then that exists. Which makes it about 18 feet. So I really, if I got a 10 foot extension, that covers me easily with keeping the computer in the other room. Let's go shopping. All right, so we see a Steam VR. I could always fill a video with words. Oh, I should probably undo that fucking tragedy. Come with me. You sit here. There are blue lights on, so that's a positive thing. Okay, what can I close now? I don't need to do any more emails at this very moment. Goodbye. There are emails open for some reason. Uh, launch Stimver. Wallpaper available in the description, maybe? I don't know, I don't think I've used that. I think I've used that one before. Steam VR status. All right, Steam VR performs best with up-to-date graphics driver. We recommend that you update yours. More info. I gotta update my, my, my graphics driver. Uh, all right, definitely gonna have to do some restarts with that. I'm gonna close this. Make sure I'm up to date with my graphics driver because I haven't done it in like a month and a half. So, burb. Fucking Jesus shit. Jesus shit Christ almighty. So, um, updated my drivers. It restarted my computer. 
It closed all my emails and all my tabs in Firefox. The tabs were not restored because I had a secondary window open. So I only restored the one tab from that window and I lost like 40 tabs that I was keeping open for like four months. So that's fucking great. But that's how organized Zeos is. And now I'm like, all right, I updated the two controllers. Um, the headset plugs in. Th these things were fine. The headset needed an update. It literally just said, I'm updating and I'm like, fine. Then it was like, you have to plug these in to update. So I plugged it, I had to fucking unplug something else. Cause I'm out of USBs. I have six and I'm using six. Yes, that's the, where's that one going? Where you go? Oh, you go by my streaming rig. So these are now updated. I told it I'm in a sitting room. I'm not gonna, we're gonna swing my arms around. So I'm gonna be sitting here. It wants me to put this in the center. Um, there was other issues too, but I literally can't remember. Uh, I guess I put this here. How do I do this? How do I calibrate center? Am I supposed to be wearing this while this is going down? Um, hold on for a second. Please take off the headset and follow the on-screen instructions. How do I calibrate center if I'm not wearing it? That's that's the biggest question in my mind right now. Because it was like, are you in a little room? I'm like, yes. Like, are you ready? Yes. Stand in the middle of your cleared space while holding the headset so that it's facing the default location you want to face VR. Then click the calibrate button or the trigger and remain still while the calibration completes. Okay, jubers. When they make little VR headsets for cats, I'm gonna buy one. They only see in blue and green, so it's not like I have to um, like buy something expensive. All right. So even though it's telling me in the headset to to not be wearing the headset, I guess I'm supposed to be wearing the headset. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna be like, this is the center. Trigger click. Okay, it's figuring this shit out. Yay. Headset ready. Can I click next? Can I? How do I? Wow, what am I doing? Next? Oh, I just swing that right. Okay, calibrate floor. I put, how am I supposed to do this not sitting in front of the thing? This is, this is getting like a six out of 10. All right, place the headset on a stable surface and then click the calibrate floor button. This measures the vertical distance between the surface and the floor and enter it below. Oh, we get to measure something. We get to measure something. I love measuring things. Here we go, okay. Okay. Uh, calibrate floor. It's calibrating the floor. Okay. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna measure. Chewbacca, we need to take measure. Let's go. Whee! This knows if I died. I saw SAO. It's horrifying. 29 and a half inches. Or should we do this in centimeters? Nope. America, get off of that, 29.5, booyah, bitch. All right, setup complete. Your headset supports multiple refresh rates, currently set to 90 frames per second. Would you like to switch to 120? To maintain your GPU load on a mouth, go to resolution adjust from 9 to 84, as well as via settings. So, thank you. Um, yeah, fuck it, switch and restart, let's do 120. I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, it's gonna probably lag, so I don't know, Look, it's a GTX 1080. I spent like $700 on this card two and a half years ago, three years ago. It's still kicking ass and taking names. I keep getting this error here. Not enough USB resources. Now playing Steam VR. Um, tutorial, media player, default VR review devices, update device, pair controller, settings drill, workshop. Uh, create system settings. Let's go, let's go settings. I just love going to settings to everything. So, excuse me. Um, general, use Steam VR Home. Enjoy virtual environments, social features, and more. Yes. Enable headset while computer is locked. I don't really lock my computer. Do not disturb, suppress Steam VR. Display always on top. Minimize to the system tray. Suppress VR warnings and alerts when minimized. Display knock knock. Let's get attention to the person you. This, this lets people get attention. Oh! Smart, so there's something on my computer if pasta needs me, she could hit it, and or she just hit me with a fucking broom. Application, use these settings, create unique settings, Steam VR Home, R Factor 2, oh, my erection. Uh, use global settings currently, custom resolution, I can take it to 500%. 
The current setting renders each eye at 1848 by 25 by 2052. I don't know, I'm gonna to touch that yet. Leave it alone, 100%. When using SteamVR, set playback to index, set recording device to whatever, set mirror audio to, I could have it mirror audio. Wow, this is really well set up. Too bad it's so tiny on this fucking 4K. I mean, I've tons of room for more anime waifus still, so there you go. When not using SteamVR, set to spit if onboard and set recording device to digital, uh, do not change device. Enable gain reduction on Vive HDMI audio. Enable gain reduction, nope. That sounds like compression to me. Don't want that. We can push it all the way to 144 hertz. Pending change, oh, I got a four, oh, fuck. Why didn't it ask me that earlier? Let's just do it, bro. Right? Right, bro? Wait, I'm alone here. Never mind. Starting VR. Okay, now we're at 144. Chapter 1 bounds on dashboard off. Smooth motion off. It's showing me milliseconds? Motion smoothing? I don't know what it's trying to tell me there. That doesn't, doesn't give me anything. And it synthesizes new frames to maintain a good experience when running the application cannot keep up. Does that mean it can't run nothing? Because I'm running nothing right now? Camera. Enable camera. Enable the camera may interfere with tracking stability in, on incompatible USB. If there's a loss of tracking, we want to set lower rate camera, disable camera, or try a different USB. Okay. Um, this change requires a restart of Steam VR. Oh, Jesus Christ. How many times do I got to restart Steam VR? There's worse things to look at, though. I mean, there we go. All right. Come on. Come on, right here. Give it to me. There we go. Okay. Enable camera controller as room view and dashboard. Use camera to represent chapter one bounds. Chapter one. Capper one bounds? I have chaperone? Chaperone. I've never seen that word written before. Use camera to represent chaperone. chaperone. Enable room view with system built and double click. Camera 30. Oh, let me see if the camera's on now. Because these two cameras, in case you don't know, on the Valve Index, there are two cameras. I've left this... By the way, I peeled this off, and I'm like, oh, what does this do? It doesn't cover the cameras. And it literally opens this up, which exposes a USB port and an empty space. No idea what that's for, or what I'm supposed to do with it. And I don't think there's anything in here that's like detecting stuff, so I'm just gonna leave that covered and protected. Let's see. Oh, I'm in a place. Oh, God. Can I actually hold on? I'm taking off the GoPro for a second. Can we see the place I'm in? Can I get multiple GoPros? There we go. Yeah, baby. Our tracking is fucking epic. That is some epic ass tracking going on. Actually, the GoPro does a really nice job of capturing that. Um. Where are the... Oh, Jesus. Where am I going? What is happening? Oh, shit. All right. This is chapter one. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title it. Maybe like, hey, is everything fucking working? Great. I'll get back to you with a part two where I actually have it either set up in the other room or doing more stuff to get it set up in the other room, move that computer over. And then part three will be like my final thoughts and results of this. And figure out what the fuck belongs in there. I'm sure there's some sort of add-on module. Um, plays with my dick or something. Burb. Where's Chubers? Burb. <laughs>